Hello friends, today I am going to show you all tricks and traps in the Vienna Gambit variation. So let's start the video and we will play as white. So in this variation, white plays e4, opponent plays e5 and after this the most common reply from the white is knight to f3 of which we are attacking this e5 pawn and the opponent can try to defend it with knight to c6 and the game goes on. But in this the Vienna Gambit variation, we will not play knight to f3 and we will play knight to c3 this is the uncommon move knight to c3 move and now we are defending this pawn so white may think that uh, he may gain the tempo by playing knight to f6 and now he is gaining a tempo as attack he is attacking this pawn so in this case we will move our f pawn forward f4 and now white has two options either to take or not take and simply develop and defend this pawn so we will play the most we will describe here the most common reply from the black and that is he takes the pawn and what if he takes the pawn now after it, when he takes we will move forward our e pawn to e5 and and now we are attacking this knight knight has no safe squares as these two squares are covered by the knight and these two squares are covered by the queen so he has no way to escape his knight and he will have to push back so after the knight goes to and goes back to his original position now we will take care of this square as the king is as the black queen is attacking this square and giving a check and there the black can cause a lot of nuisance in the game so we will defend this square by not playing knight to f3 and now this square is completely covered so we have no danger by the queen so what the black can go on with after this is play pawn to d6 and in this way he is trying to get rid of this pawn by when he takes when we take he will take with the bishop and he will again develop his bishop also and get rid of this pawn but instead of attacking this his pawn we will simply defend our pawn by playing pawn to d4 and now we are now defending our pawn so the most common reply from black is to take the pawn and now instead of taking back this pawn we will play uh, just a simple move giving check and when he attacks our bishop and tries to defend it he will simply come back down and now black may think that he has gained one pawn and now after attacking this pawn he is also threatening our knight so if black plays this you should be smiling in your back because the trap is going on and it is working so now you will completely ignore this attack by the knight and take this pawn by your bishop and if he takes the knight now you can give simply a check and check to f7 king is king, when the king takes you can win his queen so it is not a good option and if he tries to go here now you might be thinking that we are forking by this but here knight can defend this check and now the game will be out of your control so you have to remember the key move the key move here is queen to e2 now what are the options by the black he can take or go back so when he goes here it's a simple checkmate as you have covered all the squares for the white to escape and if he blocks with the bishop then also it's a checkmate as you are covering all the squares and he has no place to go so the most common way the king can defend is taking this bishop and now what you have to do is give check by the queen now as you know that uh, now Going back is not a good option because after queen takes on c6, it's a fork for the queen and queen cannot come as king is in check. So once he defends his check, you can gain the queen. Also, if you may think that uh, queen can defend, then also it will be a queen win. So this may not work. So queen cannot come to these squares as it will be a discovered check by the king, by the queen. So one way he can try is to come here. Now if he comes here, you can again give a check by the bishop. Now now we cannot take the knight because of this queen. And once he takes the bishop, you can get this royal family fork and all the rook, queen and king. All are folk and you can easily win the game by winning the queen wherever the king moves, you can win the queen. 
So this was all about the D6 variation in the Vienna Gambit. If you like this video and you want me to complete all the variations in the Vienna Gambit, then please let me know by the comment section. And if you like this video, you can like also and do subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, if you want me to make the complete video on Vienna Gambit, just let me know. I will make a complete video tutorial about Vienna Gambit. Thank you.